uh, we designed and built a robot that's intended to paint markings on the roadway. So things like the right turn arrow, the left turn arrow, the straight arrow, and uh, words that they like to paint on the roadway. Because uh, MnDOT has been the one who sponsored this project, the design and build part of this project, uh, and it's a robotic device, so I simply call it the MnDOT robot. The current way of doing things is to use templates and have uh, multiple people out there painting it out in, in the traffic zone. So the idea was to try to make it a lot safer so that it could be done from inside the cab of a pickup by an individual person. So the truck could drive up and then paint a marking and then the robot deploys and stores itself so you, so you don't have to actually be out in the workspace while the robot is doing the painting. So faster, more efficient, but primarily safer than what they do now. Years, several years ago when I was active in message painting, it took two of us to carry the stencils, put them down in front of the truck, spray, uh, put the beads on and, and um, wait for it to dry. Operation like this, you eliminate one person, you're not outside the vehicle in the traffic getting hurt, or risking the chance to get hurt, and um, two people lifting the stencils, you risk the chance of uh, back injury or muscle strain. Uh, this is kind of a first step. We are trying to prove that it's uh, functional and practical to do, and we would like to get companies involved so that they would be willing to take this further and then produce this for sale for uh, various uh, entities like states, counties, cities, contractors, things like that. Right now we have the right turn arrow, the left turn arrow, the straight arrow, and we have four words, ahead, stop, slow, and yield. But uh, we can easily add to that just by adding additional programs. This technology, people who have seen this technology work have had a lot of ideas of other things we could do with it. And that would be, oh, like airport runways, uh, painting football fields, uh, that kind of thing. It's, as soon as somebody sees this uh, large format painter, then they get, start getting other ideas as to what they could do with it. So I think a technology like this could go a long way.